absolutely hate my room. So I'm going to be completely redecorating it and giving myself my dream room makeover. Make sure to go watch my part one of this video where I cleared everything out of my room. I used to have some shelves here and I got rid of those. I'm also going to be getting rid of my two bedside cabinets because I'm going to be having a furniture delivery soon. If you guys watch that video, then you'll know all about it. Actually, I'm gonna tell you about it later, but something really, really bad happened, but I think I've got a solution. Since then, I've also added this rug, which I feel like has tied my room together so much already. Like it is looking way better than it originally did. I've also been working on this painting here because I'm gonna be replacing this one up there with something more cute and coquette, which I'm going for. I've got so many parcels. This is all what I need to unbox. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I've never ordered bedding before. And I think the sheet which I ordered is too big. I guess it's better than it being too small, but still, this is annoying. I'm also not really liking this color. I thought it was gonna be like baby pink, not like a peach color but it's okay for now. This actually looks so good, even though it's a little bit big, so I've obviously ordered the wrong size. It still works really well. In fact, I think maybe it looks better. Ta-da! Talk about a princess bed. Look at these bows. I'm actually obsessed. And these cushions, it fits really well onto my pillow, so I think maybe I have like a mismatch of sizes of like the duvet and the bed and stuff. It looks so cute, because I really feel like I want to make my room super like extra, but also really minimal. I was thinking if I get a really extra extra bedspread like this. This does all the talking. I don't need to have loads of cushions and stuff like that on it because I feel like that's when my room starts to look a bit messy. I'm really happy with how the room's going so far. I wasn't sure about the bedspread, but I think it's just because it's so different. I have to get used to it. The next thing I want to change in my room is I actually only have one lamp and it's definitely not the princess style, which I'm going for. Look at it. It's very interesting. I call this the paper mache mushroom lamp. My mom said she actually wants this downstairs, so I'm going to move that downstairs, which I think is really funny because every time my dad came in my room, he'd say about how much he hates this lamp. It's not going to be in my bedroom anymore, dad. I'm sorry, but mom wants it in the living room. But I'm really happy because I think I have found my dream lamp. I've got two this time, which I think is going to look really nice because I'm completely changing my bedside cabinets. I'm going to have two matching ones, and I think this is going to look Look so nice on them. I really wanted a lamp which does all the talking about the style which I'm going for. I've seen the picture on the box and then I've seen it online, but I really want to see what it looks like in real life. It's been sitting in the corner of my room waiting for me to finally get rid of all the charity shop stuff. I didn't want to start opening this stuff up until I had more of like an empty base. Oh my gosh, I think it's quite... It's huge! Well, I have my bedside cabinets which are coming. I'm going to be big because this is literally huge. I'm really nervous now, guys. What if it's too big? Oh, it's even better in real life than in the picture. It's so nice. Look at the flowers. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I feel like already my room is looking so good and we've barely even started. I've got a big box here, which actually has a new mirror in it. I've got loads of like little parcels here. Well, I say little, they're all quite big. I feel like my room has been such a mess of like different styles and like random stuff. It hasn't had like a proper, everything being one proper style, you know? It's just kind of been like random stuff. And I feel like this is gonna look so good once everything's actually like properly coordinating. I ordered pretty much everything from Next. It's the best guys. If you're like looking to redecorate your room, they have loads of different styles and they all look really nice. I think I might know what this can be. And if it is what I think it is, I'm so excited to see this. Finally, oh no, this is something else. Oh yeah. This was something I kind of impulsively ordered. So I don't know if it's necessarily gonna have a place in my room. I have no idea where I'm gonna put them because I'm also gonna be getting some chest of drawers delivered. So that will be delivered at the same time as my bedside cabinets, which by the way, I'm ordering different ones to which I showed in the video and I'll tell you about that later. These are some little decorational boxes and I thought it could be really good for storage as well. See, oh, I have to undo the ribbon. These look so fancy and like, that coquette style, which I was going for. I'm actually so happy I got these because I think these are gonna be perfect to display somewhere. I think for now, I'm gonna put them on this little stool, which I actually stole from my little sister's room because we recently did a room makeover in her room as well. It could go nicely because my theme is like white creams, grays, and little bits of pink, obviously with this bed cover. So I'm just gonna leave them on there for now. I'm not sure. I need to wait until I actually get the furniture delivered and then I can find out like if I've got enough decorations. It's kind of hard to know like how much stuff to order until I've got the furniture and I can see how much is 
it's gonna be. But I'm glad I got little storage boxes like that because part of the reason why I want to redecorate my room is for storage. So this is a little towel. No, this is a bath mat because I need a new bath mat in my room because look at my bath mat currently, guys. It is really cute, but like I said, I just had like loads of random stuff. I feel like this is what 10 year olds nowadays call preppy. I just want everything to be really cute and like princessy. Obviously, I need my bedding to be washed and I wasn't sure about this pink bedding. So if I change my mind, I've got this gray bedding, which has bows on. So it still goes with the bow theme, but it's a bit more simple. So I do feel like that could look really nice. But for now, I'm really liking this princess sheet. So I think this is probably gonna be my main sheet and that could be my spare. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did get oh, a new fitted sheet. So that's a nice little spare too. And another one. Oh, I know what this is. I'm so excited for this. I made it in the I might leave this in the box actually. It's a bit smaller than I was expecting. That's gonna go. I'm gonna leave this in the box for now. Oh, that looks nice. Why is it the size oh, large? Extra large. I swear no, I get that. Ribbon. They're giving me the wrong size. <laughs> you look like you're being drowned. I mean, to be honest, it's not that bad. You Notice how it matches my bath mat and then, wait till you see this, guys. This is gonna look so cool. Look, I have a matching towel. See, I can't open like parcels without having an audience. It's a matching bath mat, robe and Towel. Miracles, I feel like my bathroom looks so nice now. I am gonna give everything a tidy up, but for now, this looks so nice and it's gonna match the rest of my room. I'm really glad I have a new bath mat now because this one's a bit smaller because before the door would always catch on the bath mat and it would drive me crazy. But now I can open and close my bathroom door freely. Hey Miracles, I am really loving how my room, like it's grown on me. It's been a couple days and it's grown on me. I'm still waiting for the furniture. It's not here yet. But I was thinking, I feel like I need some more stuff just to flesh out. It's difficult when you order stuff online. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to do like multiple lots of buying stuff because I never know when it's gonna be too much or if I do need more things. So I definitely am thinking now that I've got like more of the stuff out, I can tell that I am gonna need more things. However, it's still difficult when I don't have the furniture to know. because I do have like other stuff which I've just put in my cupboard because I have no like shelves or anything to display. So when my chest of drawers come, then I'm gonna obviously, you know, like put stuff on top it. But I'm gonna give you a little haul of what I got. I just randomly saw this shop and it looked like it might have some coquette things. First of all, I found this. I'm gonna hang this on my wall somewhere because I realized I'm gonna put the painting, which I'm working on, above my bed. But on the other parts of my wall, it might be kind of empty because I don't have anything like filling that bit up. I found two plant pots. These are so cute. Because I'm thinking I might put some stuff more like on my windowsill or even just like in the corner of my room. Like if I have my chest of drawers here, maybe something there. I don't know. I just thought they were really cute and I wanna buy more like flowers. I'm gonna open up the other thing which I got from Next the other day as well. I actually got two, so I have two nice ones. And I just thought it's so pretty with the flowers. I just, I can't wait. I don't have the patience. I lasted a little bit. You ready guys? This is so cute. Oh, I love it. This is a little vase so I can put like fresh flowers and then those ones I need to get some like actual plants. But I feel like that would just look really nice to like fill my room up a bit. And I just love how coquette it is. Look at the little heart and like the detailing. You can really see like the style which I'm trying to go for now, which I'm super like happy that I feel like it's coming together. And then this I'm actually really excited about. The only thing is I wasn't super keen on the ribbon color, but Sienna told me I could probably just like change it to my own ribbon color. I'm not sure. I feel like the green's kind of nice, but yeah, it's just like three minis of like that big one. So I feel like this could look really nice if I hung it like here or something like that. I just feel like it needs a bit more detail to like really show the style that I'm going for. I'm so happy that all my room's looking. Like I just feel so excited. So right now, I think I want to go out to shop and get plants. Maybe I'll do that today. It is like 3 p.m. now though. So like, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that. But I also really want to try and finish this painting today. So I've got a few things I want to do because the next couple of days I'm going to be busy and then the furniture is getting delivered. So I want to finish like the makeover by the time the furniture gets delivered. That's my goal. Like on that day, I want to finish it. And I'm going to be busy that day so basically today's my day to do little things like that I'm actually having so much fun though and I do feel like it's all starting to come together so I'm really excited about that I just got a text message and my furniture is gonna be coming tomorrow morning I'm literally so excited this is the progress of the painting I saw like these collages this is kind of like where I got the inspiration for the painting on Pinterest so I wanted to do like a painting form of it so I'm wondering if maybe I'll put like some lipstick on and do like kisses on it I'm not sure I've got a thing I might get like Sienna's opinion and like have a few ideas but I've got some more additions to my room but what I need to 
to do now is like take apart this so I can give it to the charity shop. I need to take apart my other one and like you see I've moved all the stuff so I have room for my chest of drawers. But I'm just going to show you some of the additions to my room because it's starting to look so good. Like look at my bed. Ta-da! Can you imagine when this picture is replaced with that one? And you probably have noticed it too. Look what I got. Look how cute it is. It's a little frog jelly cat and it's a prince. It literally completes the princess vibes, which I'm going for. It looks so good with my bedding. I got a nice little bouquet to put in my vase. I'm going to try and always have some nice bouquets. So I need to sort that out and like put it in the vase properly. But I also bought some actual plants to go in the plant pots, which I bought yesterday. Look at these. I just got some nice orchids because I was going to get these daffodils, but then I remembered that my plant pots are quite big. I mean, looking at them actually now, they're not that big, but still they are pretty big. So I feel like this is going to be the perfect size. Oh, that looks really nice. So I need to unwrap all of that. I'm just so happy. Like already, I feel like I like my room so much more. I feel like it looks so much better in videos and stuff. And just this painting is really bugging me. So that's what I really want to do. Like right now I want to change it. But I think I need to add a bit more to the painting. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask you guys on Instagram, actually. I've just gone a literal roller coaster of emotions because basically I unboxed my lovely new mirror. It's really nice. It's definitely a bit smaller than my mirror before, but that's okay. And then I try to stick it on the wall because do you think I really am able to use a screwdriver? Of course not. And I don't think we even own a screwdriver. So basically I was like, you know, I'm just going to command strip it. I've command stripped so many things where it told me that I had to screw it to the wall and it's never failed me except for the fact that this the rim is like too small for me to put a command strip on and then yeah basically it doesn't work so i put all the command strips on and then realize it doesn't freaking work when i try to put it on the wall and it's like too small to like rest it up against like look it literally cuts my head off because it's too small i use this to check what my outfit looks like i can't even see my head even though it does look really nice and i do kind of prefer this mirror to the mirror i had before the reason why i bought a new mirror was so i could stick it to the wall because i just wanted like more floor space so i might do something else with that mirror maybe put it somewhere else in the house because i could the office or somewhere else in my room i'm not sure i just need to see like once i get all my furniture delivered tomorrow because i've been unscrewing apart myself i've like you know been getting really into unscrewing things and i was like the whole reason why i couldn't stick this mirror to the wall was because of this thing i'm unscrewing it and it's gonna be revolutionary because this mirror is actually really light so i do feel like it's gonna work really well with command strips whereas the other mirror is actually really heavy so yeah i feel like that other mirror is a bit better quality which is a shame that i can't stick it to the wall i mean i could always change it i'm only putting command strips but yeah I'm gonna unscrew this thing because I hated this anyways. It just made it look all really big and like, uh, I didn't like it. I'm gonna unscrew that. Then it has the perfect bit for a command strip to go along the rim. Best idea. Good morning, Miracles. I just went on a run, so I'm a bit sweaty. Ignore that. But guess what got delivered right before I left? <laughs> Yes! It is the furniture. I need to open it up and see what it looks like. I'm literally so excited, but I'm also really worried because like, what if it doesn't look like how I want it to look? The men that delivered it were really struggling to carry this up the stairs and I was like, oh, I feel like it can't be that heavy, you know? I literally can barely even move it. So no wonder they struggled. So let's start opening one of the side tables. Ah, I've waited so long for this. I feel like crying, guys. I'm sorry to see the shape of it, but it's still covered in bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, the color is so nice. Cause that is the bit I was worried about. Hi. I didn't go for white, mm. so I was a bit worried about the colour, but it's nice, isn't it? I love it. I'm probably gonna need Dad's help to get the drawers up, dresser thing out because like it's really it's nice. really, really heavy. Like really heavy. I can't I can barely move the box. <gasps> oh the details! Wow. I I'm love so it. excited. I can't wait to see your room. <laughs> Welcome to my transformed princess room. <laughs> happy with the final result i feel like it's really pulled together because obviously this took me a long time to actually get everything and finally put it together and i've been planning it for so long it feels like weird and like surreal that it's finally real but i'm gonna give you a full in-depth tour so first of all i've stuck some of my bags onto the wall i really didn't want my room to look too messy and cluttered i really wasn't sure about doing this but i feel like it does look better than it just being a plain boring brown wall and i feel like you guys would probably like to look at my bags more than the brown door so then moving over i have my dresser side thing i don't know what to call it because on all the different websites every time i was like calling up about it because i still have to check like if i've actually got the refund for the one which i bought previously and every time it's called a different name and it's really confusing me for everyone wondering what on earth happened with the first delivery basically it tried to get delivered and the men delivering it said that they couldn't carry it up the stairs even though four men literally came to carry it up the stairs they said that they couldn't do it and it was too 
dangerous. So unfortunately, I couldn't have that furniture because it came all in one big part. Although this new furniture also came in one part, but it was slightly smaller and quite a lot less heavy, even though this is still really heavy. Yeah, that was very disappointing when I found that out. Anyway, so I did end up getting one and I'm really happy because I feel like this one is a bit smaller and it's a bit more like rounded, like the corners and stuff. I feel like it does fit the space a bit better than the one I originally was gonna get. And obviously I actually managed to get it all matching. So I am really happy with how it worked out in the end, but I do need to check if I actually got that refund. I really love the details. This is what made me decide to get this particular chest of drawers. It's the details of the handles. Like I'm literally in love with it. I was looking up Rococo French on like Next and stuff. I got these from Next. And that came up with a lot of stuff for like the style I wanted. And then on the wall, I've decorated it with some dried like pressed flowers. I've got some over here on this side as well, the three. I do feel like that's the one thing that is a little bit missing. I do think I need to maybe add some more stuff to the wall. So if you guys know good places to get things with like this vibe, comment them down below, please. I've got this beautiful Swarovski rose teddy bear. I literally cannot believe this is literally beautiful. It's so, oh, I just feel like it really just gives that extra princess vibe that I was hopefully going for and I think I have managed to achieve. Then I've got loads of like little accessories. This is kind of a bit like a vanity vibe on the top. I've got like, you know, my special angel hairbrush. I've got my flower nose makeup and I feel like I can keep working on this and fiddling around with it, but I am really happy with how it looks at the moment. Then I got my vase. I am actually in love with this vase. It's also from Next. And then I got some fresh flowers. So I'm really gonna try my best to always try and like have some like pink flowers in here and not let them die and like leave them dead in there because that will do the opposite to what I was trying to achieve. Then I have this corner. Now, obviously I thought that this was gonna be quite a squeeze and it would have been a squeeze with the original furniture, but actually doesn't feel like too much of a squeeze. So I'm wondering if maybe I should add something here. Sienna was saying I should get a tall plant, but I don't really want to necessarily add too much green to my room. So is there like a good plant I could get that will look like, I don't think there is a plant which I can get, which would be like really pink or like, you know, white and aesthetic in the background here. I feel like maybe like a stool or something, or maybe if I just had more stuff on my wall that would fill it up. But then I have my bedside tables and I actually have two matching bedside tables and they both are actual bedside tables rather than a locker. I'm really happy. And now I've got so much storage and my secret chocolate storage in there. Don't look at that. No one knows about that. I've got my gorgeous lamps. I am obsessed with these lamps. I'm so happy that I decided on these ones and not the other ones which I was looking at, which were like a stone because I feel like this just adds to like giving it a more of an airy feel. Got some little decorations. I'm probably gonna keep messing around and like experimenting with where they go. Then I've got my bed. I actually really love this bedding. It's still annoying me that it's peach and not pink because I thought it was gonna be baby pink, but I think the peach looks all right. I might change the bedding. And then I've got my prince, my prince frog on my bed. The thing I really love about this is that the pillows are like, cushions. I used to always have loads of pillows on my bed, like, you know, like little decorational cushions. And I feel like it started to look a bit messy and I just didn't want to have too much on my bed. So I really like this, how like the pillows themselves are like a cushion basically. Like it doesn't look lacking without cushions on it. So I really want a bedspread that like does that, like has like frills and stuff on the edges of it. Like it's framed. I feel like that looks really nice. Then I have finally finished my painting. I'm wondering if maybe I should add some more like little 3D things on it. But to be honest, I think it's good. I think if I start like messing around with it, I was trying to stick this up on the wall earlier with Sienna and it was so hard. We actually dropped the level down the side at the back of my bed and it took us a long time to manage to get it out from behind there because it was like really, really stuck. I managed to get it up and I think it's pretty straight. I mean, I did use a level, but then like it's hard to get it in the middle of the bed frame, but it's okay. I don't really notice wonky stuff like that. So if you're one of those people that notice those things, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's completely matching except like the decorations are slightly different, but I love how the candles actually, it was a set of two. So the only difference is like the scent and the color and they're both like heart dip DK and it's like the Valentine's special. I was really glad that I did this room makeover at the same time of Valentine's because I feel like loads of homeware is out at the moment, which is exactly the vibe that I wanted. Then over here, I have my mirror, which I stuck on the wall. I'm so glad that I stuck this on the wall. It looks so much better now. And I have my two plants. I decided to put them either side. I was wondering about putting them in the corners, but I feel like it looks good here. I'm really happy with how this area is looking. I put this little pink stool from Sienna and then I put my boxes on top and I feel like that covers up 
the plug nicely. And then over here, my bathroom. I'm really happy that I decided to get a new bath mat because it was honestly bugging me so much how I couldn't open and close this door. The only thing is we have the poop mirror. I do feel really weird when I use the toilet that there's a mirror there, but I don't really know where else to put it. So maybe I need to ask mom if there's somewhere else in the house, but I don't really mind it there. It does fill out the bathroom. Like the bathroom looks nice having it in because if not, this was just like an empty bit of wall, but still, it's a bit weird. Make sure to click subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this room makeover. Bye!